Okay, hi folks, and welcome to week one of the LGBT ecotherapy course. I'm really excited about this, and I'm really surprised and um, grateful for the interest that I've had from everybody. So, a um, little explanation about uh, what ecotherapy is, as well as who I am. So, I'm Stephen. I work at LGBT Health and Wellbeing. Um, ecotherapy is something that I've become really interested in over the last few years. Um, and I just find nature such a healing and powerful thing and I think it's something that we can access anywhere even if we're shielding at home in the current situation so um, I really hope that it's going to be helpful for you and ecotherapy is you know a term that is used in all kinds of ways for me I describe it as mindfulness in nature the type of work that I do anyway um, and it's really simple you know the idea is simply that we're a part of nature and we feel good when we engage with it and when we cut ourselves off from it, we suffer because of that, you know. And if we've got things going on in our lives, it's really good for us just to appreciate the outdoors, even if we can't physically be there sometimes, to pay attention to it anyway. Um, so the course is five weeks long and um, what I'm going to do is post several tasks each week and I want you to do the tasks in your own time within the first um, five or six days and then come back on Sunday evening and just post something about your experiences. Um, you don't have to post everything about all of the things that you've felt um, because you know there are several tasks and if you're anything like me you sometimes can get carried away with writing not everyone's like that but I certainly am so I just want to put it out there that you don't have to write in detail about everything just anything that struck you anything that you found um, uh, you know challenging or really helpful or you really engaged with um, the highlights of the tasks if you like um, so don't be writing essays, it's really a space for us to come together and share our experiences and then feel free to chat with each other in the forum as well, that would be really nice to create a, a community vibe in there. So um, I'm going to ask you now to have a pen and paper handy or whatever it is that you want to take notes with. Um, so you might want to press pause or you might just want to watch me having a, a sip of tea really quickly. Okay. So the first exercise is something I want you to do every day for a couple of minutes at a time that works for you. So this is a really simple grounding exercise. It's a little bit like a meditation on nature, um, two or three minutes and tuning into all of your senses. So I'm going to give you a sort of demonstration of a mini version and you can do this at your window if you're shielding or if you are out on a walk and you find a really nice spot and somewhere where you wouldn't feel perhaps too self-conscious, um, it might be a nice place to stop and, and tune into everything. So first I want you to sit somewhere where you feel comfortable and at ease and just close your eyes. And first, for about 30 seconds, I want you to just focus on your breath. Then when you've done that for about 30 seconds, I want you to tune into the sense of sound, nothing but sound, and just tune into the whole soundscape, whether it's animals, the wind, noises of people, anything, just tune into that and nothing else. When your mind wanders, just bring it back. Then I want you to just feel either the wind on your face, pay attention to the temperature, are there any smells? Go through every sense that you have one by one. And when your mind wanders, come back to it. Like what's going on out here? Not what's in here, but what's going on out here. And let each sense tune into it one by one. After you've gone through those senses with your eyes closed, just open your eyes and just take in the colour and just take in the sight of everything around you. Like I even noticed from just having my eyes closed for 30 seconds. Um, all of a sudden I'm looking at there's a little tree just behind this camera and I'm like that's a really beautiful lime green colour you know um, and just see if there's anything you haven't seen before there are no rights or wrongs with this or any other task 
it's simply about experiencing it and I think there's something really powerful about tuning into our senses one by one because sometimes when we're trying to tune into them all at the same time we almost forget about each and every one of them and we just let our mind take over and this is a really simple way that you can just tune into the bigger picture of what's happening in the world and in nature around you. Um, it's a great thing for when your mind is busy. You can do it more than once a day, you know, but, but, but try it at least once a day, whatever time works for you, okay? So that's task one, and I want you to do that every day. Task two is I want you to go for a walk if you're going for walks. If you're shielding, you can still do this at home, but you'll need to be a bit more creative. So I want you, when you're on your walk, or at home to find a natural item something that you're really drawn to so go for your walk and you know for example it could be a stone or a stick or a feather or something that's come directly from nature try not to overthink it um, just find something that you think I like that I'm not going to go into too much why but it's something you can pick up you can hold in your hand it's fairly small and you can transport it if you're at home and you're shielding look for something that's been made from natural objects I mean everything comes from nature originally before we tamper with it you know in labs or whatever so just find something you know small that's maybe made of wood but something that you like that looks and feels like a raw material so I want you to when you've picked it just try and think about where it's come from and how it's come to be maybe if you're outdoors taking the scene where you picked it from and try and think how this thing has evolved and ended up here and same if you're at home how did it evolve and end up in my house maybe carved or, or you know however it however it appears to you and with this item when you've done this pondering because I think it's really important to look at why do I like it is it the color does it remind me of something Try and look at the story that's behind it. Try and think, you know, let's say if you picked up a, a, a stone, like why did I go for something so solid and reliable maybe? Do I relate to that? Or does something about this, this feather remind me of anything? Or you might just get home and think, I just really like that colour. What does that colour make you think of? Why do you like it, you know? Because we're in tune with all of the things around us all the time in nature but we're not paying attention to it we're getting drawn to things we're moving away from things and this task is really about getting us to actually look at some of the processes that are going on and how we're engaging and finding some nice things when we're out and about or at home but paying attention to the fact that this came from somewhere out there you know um i want you to put your thing somewhere in your bedroom or the place where you sleep and every morning, I just want you to take a look at it or pick it up and touch it or whatever. And just when your mind starts getting busy the way that our minds do in the morning, it's amazing how quickly that happens, isn't it? You know, just, just, you know, interrupt that a little bit with your item. Just look at it and recall the scene where you got it from or your, you know, your, your, your sense of how it came to be. And just sit with that thought and those images each morning when your mind is getting really busy. So that's task two. There was kind of a few things in there. So I hope your pen and paper is, is uh, busy and you're taking lots of notes. Okay, folks, so the battery died. So I'm on my mobile phone now, which is why things look a little bit different. But I'm in the flow, so I thought rather than charge on my flip cam and come back, I'll just come back here. So, um, so, so yeah, the third task I want you to do is with the um, with the photo okay so you find a place with the biggest view whether it's from your window or whether you're on your walk and you find somewhere where you have as big and expansive a view as you can find um, it may not be uh, so obvious if you are at home and you've only got access to a window, but if that's the case, you know, be as creative as you can. Use the sky. There's nothing more expansive than the sky. And I want you to, that's my cat with the bells, by the way. She of the bells, we call her. She's always present. So I want you to find the, uh, find a spot with the, a view that you really like and you feel engaged with. And I want you to just stand for a minute with it. Experience how it is to be there and taking as much detail as you can of this scene. How does it feel to be in this, you know, to, to be a part of, of this scene looking over at it. Um, 
then take the photograph back and look at the photograph later and I want you to just compare how it is to look at something on the screen on the image and how it was to be there um, I want you to also see if you can find any things in the picture that you didn't see originally when you were there or if there is a different mood or a different feel just just compare and see uh, there's no right or wrongs with this or any of the tasks it's all about experiencing and thinking oh, what what didn't I see there or what did I see there or how does it feel you know it might feel better for some people it might feel worse you know d d there's no right or wrong um, so that's your third task okay and I want you to keep hold of your picture when you're finished with it because we're going to use it again on one of the um, tasks later on in the course so um okay that was week one and um, just looking down at my little notes here um just want to say before we go yes so um yeah sunday sunday even if you come back and write some notes and share them with each other that would be lovely um and i'm going to be in the forum every monday um i'll make some comments and say hi and um, and yeah thanks very much that's week one of lgbt ecotherapy and i hope to see you next week bye bye